previously on episode 14 we are now at 561 lp in challenger guys if you have missed out on episode 14 do not forget to check out that episode because there's definitely a lot of things that you can learn from watching that episode and with all of that being said let's continue with today's episode which is episode number 15. The first game we played, we were playing Riven in the jungle because the game has put us out of in the jungle. So this game, I tried to focus around the top side as much as I could because, because we have like a Mordekaiser in the top lane playing against an Aurelia. And this is a really good matchup for Mordekaiser. So I tried to get like the best ganks off so I could make that Aurelia fall behind very hard so that my Mordekaiser could start snowballing on the sky. And the game starts off really well as we're getting the first blood at only 3 minutes in the game. And this also brings Aurelia really far behind as she's gonna miss the entire wave right here. Right after killing that Aurelia in the top lane, I've decided to buy as items as fast as I could and then rush bot lane. So I could take this camp, get some extra vision in for my bot laner as well as mid laner and then gank bot lane immediately. Luckily for us... The enemy bot lane was kind of out of place, so we could easily flank these guys from behind. This is also where we get the kill on their support, and I'm also trying to chase this ADC down all the way so that she's being forced to use her flash. So now, we got one kill, and we've also forced a flash on the ADC. Now this is when the game became very interesting because top lane was winning insanely hard. Mordekaiser was completely destroying the Aurelia so technically there was no way that Aurelia was going to fight Mordekaiser beyond this point. But then I figured out that Aurelia was playing super aggressive so that usually means that the enemy jungler is coming top lane to gank his lane. And I was right about this. So right after taking the camp, I tried to move top lane as fast as I could, trying to help out this Mordekaiser. And luckily for us, Mordekaiser just ulted the jungler and he gets the kill there. So all I've had to do was help out the Mordekaiser going in for the 2v1 against that Aurelia. And this is where we get two kills once again. She's also gonna lose all the farm and stuff. So beyond this point, she's gonna fall behind pretty hard. Right after reaching level 6, I've wanted to run down bot lane and then dive the enemy bot lane under the tower. So I try to make the call right here, trying to let the bot lane push in the entire wave so we could make things happen. But then Twitch and Tarek found the chance in order to start engaging and get things done without even diving at all. So this is where we get two kills once again. So we tried to push the bot lane as hard as we could, trying to get that first blood tower of the game, but then the enemy genre came in and stopped everything for us. It's still okay for us because the enemy bot lane is losing all the farm and all of that stuff, so they're gonna fall behind pretty hard this game. This is when I decided to gank bot lane once again. I really wanted to dive these guys so I could end the laney phase for my Twitch and Tarek. But then I figured out that Gregus was calling bot lane as well. So a fight started right here. I was here first so we were in a 3 against 2 situation. Unfortunately my Twitch does go down so they still got one kill from this fight. But it's okay because I got the other two kills so no problem for me. I've also seen this Gregus trying to get this ward right here, so obviously I'm gonna protect that ward, so he's not gonna get that one. I've also wanted to get that kill on the Gregus as well, so I tried to bait this guy into engaging on me and like me dodging it and going for the all-in. Unfortunately, Talon got here first, so that was really unfortunate. Gregus got away, he was still alive. So it turned out into this very messy fight in which we've got like some kills but also like lost some kills and stuff. Ultimately it was me making the mistake right here which I shouldn't have done but we've still got some kills so it's okay. After winning the first game of the day we are now at 578 LP. The second game I've played, Riven was being banned. So I've played Camille in the top lane against a Gangplank. And this guy was a very interesting Gangplank because he played with Exhaust instead of playing with Teleport. So he got to that level 2, he hit a barrel on me and he rushed me down immediately. He's gone through my all of my creeps and just rushed me down. This is how he takes the first blood and I wasn't expecting this at all. Things got better eventually when my jungler was fighting the Rengar in the river. So I tried to react as fast as I could trying to be there faster than the gangplank was. And luckily for us, 
the mid laner that we've had was also coming a lot faster than the enemy mid laner. So we were outnumbering them right here. And this is how we get the kill on the Rengar. I've also wanted to chase down the Gangplank as well as I've had my Ea, but my jungler has already walked away. So we end up with one kill. It's really easy to set up ganks for your jungler if you play champions like Camille or you have a Jarvan as a jungler. And I also knew that Gangplank didn't have any vision, so I made the call for Jarvan to come top lane so that we could either dive this guy or fight this guy. But then Gangplank mispositioned himself in which Jarvan was able to ult him. And this is how we get a kill in the top lane. And this is also how Gangplank is going to lose a lot of farm. Unfortunately, due to my teammates having a very unlucky game, my bot lane was standing like near 20 deaths in only 20 minutes. So unfortunately, we get to lose this game and now we are at 565 LP. The third game we played, we were playing Riven against a Malphite in the top lane and my Ivern, my jungler, was taking the blue buff. So I tried to maintain and hold the pressure in the top lane and in case something happens, I could just walk up immediately and outnumber the enemy team. So just like I expected, a fight started in which Ivern was trying to take down this guy. So with me being here, the enemy team was being forced to walk back and this is where we get the first kill of the game. Right after we took that kill from the river, getting that red buff as well as the blue buff, my laning phase has become insanely easy against that Malphite. This is also where we get the kill on the Malphite. He was trying to bait out for a gang for the Kindred. And this is where I kind of made a big mistake. I could have just simply walked away, dash away and be fine. But the Kindred saw my re-engage coming. So he predicted, he jumped away from my Q and he got out alive. The landing phase was already pretty easy considering that we were really far ahead in terms of gold as well as experience points. But this is also the point where we got like a really good gank off from the Ivern where we kind of set up the lane for a gank and made it work once again. So we're getting a kill on this Malphite once again and this is where he falls behind insanely hard. Despite having like such a good early game, getting like a lot of kills together with my jungler, my bot lane as well as my mid lane wasn't doing that good at all. So I was the only guy in the entire team that had all the kills. And this is also when my Cardas just kind of ran it down in my Teemo and I couldn't really help him at all as I had like a massive bounty on my head and we didn't really have any vision anywhere. So I couldn't help him beyond this point. We still got the kill on the Teemo, but for the rest of the game, we couldn't really do anything as my bot lane and mid lane were just too far behind in the game. After losing this game, we are now at 549 LP. The next game we played, which is game number 4, we were playing Camille against Ilawi because Riven was being banned again. So right here, I was maintaining and holding the top pressure for pretty much the entire early game so far. So I've even gone as far as to tell my jungler that there is no ward in the river because I've been holding like the pressure the entire time. This is how we get the first skill in the game while only being like 4 minutes in the game. The matchup for Camille against Ilawi is a pretty interesting one because it all comes down to dodging his skill shot and then going for the all in immediately. So right here is when Ilawi misses the skill shot. This is where I immediately go in and try and dodge his own ultimate. And this is where we get the second kill in the laning phase. Eventually, my mid laner got a really nice catch on the Ilawi, which allowed us to start the next team fight and hopefully win it. Unfortunately, my genre got caught and he died really fast. So, despite like outnumbering the enemy team, we still lost this team fight pretty hard, even after getting that kill on the Ilawi before. Even though the enemy team had like a lot of kills and being a lot more ahead than we are, we still catch them based on a lot of mistakes this game. And this is like definitely one of those mistakes which we needed for this game. Despite having like such a good game and stuff, we still lost this game. So now we are at 536 LP. The next game, which is game number 5, we are playing Yasuo in the top lane against a Lissandra because my champions were being banned 
once again. So I tried to push out my lane as hard as I could right here so that I could get myself ready to teleport to the dragon. My jungler was at the dragon because I spam pinged like him as many times as I could so we could force that dragon and get it over with. I wanted to make sure that we could get this dragon because we needed that to scale towards the mid and late game. Also, the jungler was nearby, so I wanted to make sure that we get this dragon for sure. After getting the dragon, we had an item advantage in the lane as well as we just came back in the lane. At this point, Lissandra didn't have any mana anymore. We've also had like an extra item advantage as we just came back. So all we've had to do right now was either hold her in the lane and maintain the pressure or kill her immediately and still push out the entire lane. Good for us. We were able to chase down this Lissandra and even get the kill and even her flash. So that was really good for us. Everyone had won their lanes pretty hard. So now we are at 554 LP. Guys, if you want to see the games full and live, I am literally playing every single game that you're watching right now live on stream. So if you want to see all of that stuff, do not forget to follow my stream as I am streaming every single day. Do not forget to check out my Discord server as I am there a lot as well. And with all of that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, watching today's episode. And I'll catch you guys up in the next upcoming episode, in the next upcoming video, as well as the next upcoming stream, man. Peace.